Like kits are a great way to make your LEGO creations look just that bit more amazing. Whether it's a like kit designed for a specific set that you have, or giving it a bash yourself and getting a DIY set to brighten up one of your own LEGO creations. In this video, I'm going to show you how to bring your LEGO creations to life by adding custom lighting to them with a DIY light kit. It's a simple and fun project that will make your LEGO sets stand out, so let's get started shall we? First things first, what light kit do you actually get? There are many different options out there for light kits, including different brands and kits for different sets. For this video I'll be using this starter kit sent to me for review by the guys at Bricksmax, so thank you very much to them, and made specifically for those who want a kit to get them started in the world of DIY light kits. This kit can fit Lego cars including speed champion sets as well as your own cars that you have made and is available for $19.99 on their website which I think is quite reasonable for what you get. This says ideal for those who want to spruce up their Lego creations on a budget or are new to the world of Lego light kits like myself. Light Tailing and Bricks Max are also running a massive Black Friday sale with 50% of all of their products on their website on the 24th of November. But don't worry if you miss out on that date as from the 25th to the 28th they'll still be offering up to 40% off products across their website. If you are interested in buying this kit or any other kit or accessories I mentioned in this video, there is a link in the description where you can find this exact kit and if you go ahead and buy it using the link provided, I receive a bit of commission with no added cost to you. So thank you very much if you do that. So this particular light kit is intended to be a starter kit for those who have never done this before and has everything you need to add lights to your favourite Lego sets or creations and get them powered up. So in terms of lights, we have a set of warm white lights for the headlights, red dot lights for the tail lights and a light strip for the interior of the car. For cabling we have 15cm and 30cm connecting cables as well as an airport expansion board which like mentioned earlier can be used to add more lights in the future if you so wish to. For power on we have a CR2032 battery holder as well as a USB cable. There are other ways you can power this kit as well but we'll come on to that later on. And finally some Lego block pieces as well as adhesive squares for sticking the cables down. If you're really enjoying this video don't forget to like share and subscribe for more lego content like this as well as more as an added bonus if this video reaches 50 likes i will give away a like kit to one of you guys so smash that like button share this video with everyone even your cat if they like lego now that we've gone through what's included in this kit it's time for the fun part installing the like kit but not just yet before installing the kit you probably want to plan out exactly where you're going to put the lights on your lego creation and plan out where you're going to run the cables to get the best effect possible for what you're going for. For today's demonstration we are going to fit this little yellow Land Rover with some lights. I love this Land Rover and I actually reviewed it not so long ago. So we're going to be lighting up the front headlights with the warm white dot lights, the interior with the strip light and finally we'll be adding red dot lights for the tail lights of this Land Rover. So without further ado let's get installing. To begin we are going to disassemble the car, this will make it easier for for us later on when we have to route the cables through the parts. We'll also be using the studs included in this set as they have space for the light to fit. Another tip to make it easier for you, what I did was I'd lie the part down you're attaching the light to on a surface and then attach the light whilst it's laid down. To give your creation a cleaner look with this light kit, what you want to do is make sure that you hide the connecting cables by routing them through the studs of other parts and fix them in place with a brick on top. Now 
Now it's time to connect up the lights using the cables and expansion board. Be careful when plugging these in as they only go in one way, so don't try and force it in as it may break. So now we've got the lights installed, before we fully assemble the car again, let's make sure the lights are working by connecting a power source. This way, if we have any issues, then we can get to the lights easier. At this point, I then realized that I hadn't actually connected the connector for the internal strip light. So I rectified that and we are all good. So now that we've installed the lights onto the LEGO Land Rover, it's time to power it up. Including this kit is a battery holder that takes a CR2032 battery and is handy for placing the set you've added the light kit to wherever you want. Then we have a USB powering option, which means you won't run out of juice like with a battery, but this is more limiting as to where you can put it. Using the USB option also allows you to use a power bank to power it as well as mains, but there are a few more options which are available from the light tailor website site as well. So now we've got the lights installed, wired up and powered up. Here is the final product. So what do I think about these lights? The lights themselves are quite fiddly and seem fragile, but my set was okay. Even after having a few test fits on a few other LEGO cars that I have, saying that I still wouldn't be too rough with them, and I would probably recommend an adult install this kit as it is very involved and needs a lot of patience. All the lights included in my kit worked as intended with no defects, and the options included in the box to get powered up are a nice inclusion. At £20 for this kit, it seems like a decent deal considering what's included and for that I highly recommend it if you are after a DIY like it. So what do you guys think of this set? If you like this video give it a thumbs up if not you know what to do. Please consider subscribing for videos like this as well as other LEGO videos and I'll see you in the next video.